Earl Glanshaw, foreman here at Township Chevrolet for another edition of Tech Talk. Uh, we're sticking with our accessory theme uh, this month for the next few weeks. Stay tuned to the end of the video to find out how you can uh, possibly win a prize uh, for uh, liking and sharing this, this video on Facebook. Uh, today we're going to talk about uh, hood deflectors and uh, vent visors because they're kind of the one and the same thing. They kind of do different jobs, but they're made of the same material and usually people buy them as a set. So um, first thing we'll talk about, I guess, is the... Um, the uh, hood deflector um, it's on there for a couple of reasons obviously it helps deflect the air away from the windshield keeps the bugs and stuff down on the windshield plus it protects this edge of the uh, of the paint of the truck where you get a lot of stone chips and, and bug chips and stuff like that um, there's a couple of main types there's the uh, like an arrow skin they call it like which is this, what this one is here and this is put on with like a two-sided tape sits flat down on the truck so it's not as intrusive on the truck it doesn't stick up uh, it doesn't deflect the wind as much, but it does protect the paint really well. Uh, plus, kind of a low profile, kind of a, if that's the kind of style you're into. Uh, when we take it out of the box here, it's got like a film over top that keeps it from getting scratched. The technician will go ahead and dry this off, clean the area underneath, and then he'll apply some, um, he's going to put on some uh, alcohol wipes there to get the, keep the oil and dirt down. And then he'll go ahead and stick this on the truck and it'll fit on there really nice and it'll look really good. Um, so yeah, that's the, that's the main uh, function and, and what's involved with the, uh, with the hood deflector. So we'll take you around to the side of the truck and we'll kind of give you a rundown on, uh, on, the, uh, on the vent visors. Okay, so here we are on the side of the vehicle. I'm going to show you kind of the, the vent visors here. This is the way they're set up. I won't take this out of the package because it's not going on this vehicle, but just give you guys an idea of what it looks, looks like. Uh, every vehicle has different uh, design depending on the length of the window. Obviously crew cab, regular cab, uh, double cab. Uh, the back ones are more of a, of a straight cut that just sit on the top. Nice thing about these, uh, same thing, you take them out of the package, they got a protective coating over top, just like the hood deflector to keep them looking good while the technician installs them. Installs roughly the same way, you got that 3M uh, adhesive on the back. We clean this area, dry it off really well, put on some alcohol wipes, and then we'll stick that on there. Um, depending on what brand or what type you put on, they'll either go underneath your mirror uh, or it'll sit over top of the edge of your mirror. Um, some of them go inside the track uh, and some of them go on the outside. Myself, personally, I like the ones on the outside. That way they're not interfering with the window operation up and down. Um, the nice thing about those is uh, if your person likes to drive with your window open a little bit, um, the older vehicles used to have a drip rail built into the body of them. And obviously cars don't have any more. It's a sleeker, nicer looking design, less wind noise. But unfortunately, when it rains, the rain will drip in and then it'll get in all your switches and stuff on your armrest and obviously get it on the car and, and get you wet as well. So when you have these installed, your window can be down a little bit, get some fresh air into the cab, and it keeps uh, that water from getting down inside the car. Plus, it kind of deflects it even when your window's down, you know, most of the way. Uh, it kind of keeps that from, from streaming down onto, onto all your electrical switches and stuff, which is um, obviously could be quite expensive and it could take quite a few years before, uh, before that water gets in there and really does any damage. And if you're out of warranty, well, then you, and you know you're, you're paying the bill there. So uh, pretty inexpensive thing. Uh, they look nice. You can get them in either a black finish or a chrome finish, depending on the, on the make and the model. Uh, so you can accessorize with them if you've got a chrome door handles and uh, chrome mirror covers and stuff and you want to put a little more chrome on there or if you want to block everything out, same thing. Um, same as the uh, warranty uh, that, we, that was offered on the mud flaps is the same with these. When we install them here for you, uh, it's covered under the remainder of your 3 or 60. So if you get them done when you buy the vehicle new, these are good until the 3 or 60. So uh, you get a bad windstorm or something driving on the road and hit some heavy weather and one of these happens to blow off, which doesn't happen very often, but if it ever does or it cracks or splits, uh, it'll be covered under your warranty. So uh, in installed for nothing. So that's kind of a good thing. Um, yeah, so if you're interested in getting a pair of these for your uh, vehicle, come on down to... Uh, parts department and if you want to have them installed uh, talk to us in the service department and get these on for you um, and like I said uh, like and share this uh, video and uh, we'll pick a name at the end of the week and someone will be in touch with you and see what you want uh, another edition of Tech Talk look forward to seeing you